the Cayman Islands, home to beautiful white sand beaches, world-class diving, and some of the most secretive banks in the world. For rich and famous Americans, offshore accounts are all the rage. And they're today's BFD. Rain Food Daily. Hey there, I'm Trayvon Free, and welcome to Brain Food Daily. Sure, we all fantasize about one day winning the lottery, and yeah, I got my Powerball plan in place. Big ass house in the Hamptons, window seat on Richard Branson's space plane, eating out of the Olive Garden five nights a week. But when you got mad cash, everybody wants a piece. Most of all, Uncle Sam. Every obscenely rich person knows that if you want to keep your money, you got to keep it outside the U.S. But what about us 99 percenters? Should we be getting in on this offshore game, or should we heed the president's call for economic patriotism? To help us understand the ins and outs of offshore accounts, we're joined by tax lawyer Lee Shepard. Hey, Lee, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So are these people fleeing offshore because they're being taxed at an exorbitant rate than other people in other countries? No. The, the surprising thing is that compared to other Western developed countries, the tax rates in the United States are extremely low. The rates that we're talking about in this country, you, do, you don't get them anywhere else. You don't get them in France. You don't get them in England. You don't get low tax rates like this in Germany. The fact that you should flee the lowest tax rates in the world is, is absurd. So what you're basically saying is it comes down to greed. People are just being greedy. It is bizarre and inexplicable even to the bankers who serve these people that they would be fleeing the tax system of the United States. The blind trust does reflect the person's philosophy. You know, Romney still, you know, through his blind trust, still does things to try to make money. You know, it's like the traitor mentality is always there. So that's the weird thing about him. If you look at Obama, Obama looks like an 80-year-old from his investing profile. Okay, he takes his book publishing money. That's that's what made him a millionaire. Is his book royalties, and he puts them all in treasuries. I mean, it's it's actually a, a shockingly uh, conservative portfolio for such a young guy. Do you think the problem with our government enforcing rules around offshore accounts is because all the people who use these accounts have so much influence on politicians in terms of money oh, and sure. politics? Oh sure. Look, this is the whorehouse on the edge of town. <laughs> the elites want this escape hatch. They want that place where the rules that apply to everyone else don't apply to them. So what can we as individuals do, I mean, if anything at all, to try to get people to pay their fair share or encourage people to pay their fair share? Well, most people are paying their fair share because 90% of the tax we collect is collected through withholding. What can you do to get people to pay their fair share? Well, what they do in Norway, publicly shame people. <laughs> if there's more enforcement and one or two people get heavily fined or get their names in the paper for doing stuff like this because they went to court, that eventually has an effect. It puts a name and a face on stuff that we've known has been going on for years. So it's really about raising awareness to out these people who should be paying more taxes. But people don't realize about Ronald Reagan is he was a much better actor than anybody thought. <laughs> uh, because he convinced the American middle class that they were overtaxed, and they weren't. Politicians have been repeating that irresponsibly since then. I mean, you just saw this in the first debate. You saw two perfectly intelligent men talking about middle class tax cuts, which are absolutely not only unnecessary, but, you know, something we can't afford. You need better behavior out of your elites just to keep your society together. Well, Lee, I want to thank you for being here and enlightening me and all of my viewers on just this immense amount of information about tax shelters. And keep fighting the good fight, and I thank you for being with us. Thank you. To hear the entire interview, click the link in the description below. Well, there you go. The individuals who hide their money offshore will stay secret for now. But if you want to know which corporations hide the most offshore, click the link below and do some investigating of your own at Citizen Works. I'm Trayvon Free for BFD. Now be a patriot and hit the subscribe button.